Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer tutorial. Today I'll be covering how to ensure your privacy signals are set correctly and debug any consent related fail issues with Ad Inspector. To see the privacy signals for a specific request, tap the menu icon and select Privacy Signals. The details include whether GDPR applied for that ad request, the encoded transparency and consent string, and the Google additional consent string. If you see an empty value for your GDPR applies or empty consent strings, that may mean your app is missing a consent management platform or the user's consent information wasn't requested. The TC string and AC string store consent information relevant to your ad request. For the TC string, click Decode to see granular consent details such as the CMP ID and list of consented vendor identifiers associated with IAB. We'll do a deeper dive to find a particular ad source in the next section. The AC string has the list of consented and or disclosed vendor identifiers that are not associated with IAB. Let's take a closer look at the entire string. The IDs after the first tilde are the consented vendors, and the IDs after the second tilde with DV are the disclosed vendors. You can learn more about which IDs represent which vendor by opening the CSV partner list from the AbMob Help Center article, which is linked in the description. Let's use what we've just learned to troubleshoot a consent-related no-fill. I've set up a new bidding ad source, but it didn't submit a bid because no user consent was provided. My app is in a GDPR-regulated region and I've integrated a consent management platform. So I'll navigate to the Privacy Signal screen and decode the TC string. Here I can map the ID of my new ad source with the consented vendor IDs. The Brontosaurus Networks ID maps to 000, but it appears to be missing from the list of consented vendors in the TC string. Another helpful parameter is the CMP ID, which for my case equals 300, meaning consent was gathered by Google. Now because the CMP is Google, I can remedy this by updating my ad partners list in the AdMob UI to include my new bidding ad source. For third-party consent management platforms, the consented vendors list needs to be updated in the respective CMP. After those consent changes have been applied, and I consent to the Brontosaurus network, the ad request is filled. And I'll open Ad Inspector to confirm the Brontosaurus network no longer has a consent issue. Now that we've covered privacy signals, our next video will cover how to escalate an issue in Ad Inspector. Check out the resources in the description below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to AbMob for more technical content.